Today I'll be taking you through the process of setting up a new sales invoice in Xero. Setting up a sales invoice is a pretty common task inside the Xero accounting software and one of the main reasons that small businesses would usually use accounting software. So let's jump into Xero and I'll show you how it's done. When you first log into Xero, you'll be brought to the dashboard. Now to create an invoice, we go to the business heading and then invoices. There are several ways you can get to the same place in Xero, but I'll just take you there in the most straightforward fashion. Inside invoices, new invoice. If this is your first time using Xero, which we are today because we're inside a, a new demo file, you'll see that there are these little two minute videos at the top of each screen. If this is your first time using Xero, it's a good idea to have a look at these videos before you get started. We'll remove them for now though. So first field, we're gonna enter in our customer name. We're gonna create a new card. The date of the invoice, we're gonna put as today's date. The due date, let's make it in seven days time. Invoice number, reference. The item field, you can pre-populate this if you're going to be selling a consistent number of things inside your business. But for a lot of businesses, they tend to skip over this. The description, we're just gonna say work that I did this week. Let's just say that that's going to be 30 hours, unit price, let's call it $30. Is there gonna be a discount applied? That's where we can use the discount column. We then use the select the appropriate account in the chart of accounts. Nine times out of 10, when you're creating a sales invoice or even more, it's going to be a revenue account um, that you code your um, sales invoice to. We then select the appropriate tax rate. If your zero file set up properly, it'll default to the correct um, GST code. We then get the total amount, which is a simple formula, quantity times by the unit price. Once we're happy with what's inside the invoice, we click approve. Now, once we've created our invoice, we can then choose to email it to the customer that we'll be sending it to. We could print a PDF. In fact, let's have a quick look at um, the PDF that it generates now. What you'll see there is a very plain invoice. The biggest problem we've got with this invoice is if you were to send this to a customer, there's no instruction on how they can actually make payment to you. So let's go into the invoice template and set this up properly now. In order to get to the settings, we're gonna click on the company name in the top left-hand corner, go down to settings. This is where we're going to find invoice settings. In fact, this is where we find the settings for all the different components within Xero. Okay, inside invoice settings. This is how we define what's going to appear on the sales invoice that we're sending to our customers. Obviously, it's important to upload a logo. Click on the upload logo button, browse to find it somewhere sitting inside your computer. I don't actually have a logo here to upload now, but you can obviously see how easy it is to do. We've uploaded the logo. The other key thing that you need to do inside your invoice is insert the payment terms so that people know how to pay you. If you're just going to accept a bank transfer, we can just type in, please pay by bank transfer to BSB. This is obviously where you put in your own BSB and account number, BSB account. And this way, bank details will actually appear inside your invoice. Now, one of the benefits of using a cloud-based platform is that it's so simple to connect a host of other internet-based services. So whilst entering your bank details for bank transfer is a nice thing to do in your invoice, when we're talking with our customers, we often encourage them to add a payment service onto their invoice too. 
And the simple way to explain this, by adding a payment service, a green pay now button will appear on the invoice and allow them to accept payment by credit card. And that's a general rule of thumb. The more ways you can give your customers to pay you, the quicker you're gonna get paid. Some customers are gonna prefer paying by credit card over doing an EFT. And at the end of the day, you wanna make it as simple as possible so you can get paid as quick as possible. So if we're gonna set up um, the ability to take credit card payments on our customer invoices, we're still inside the invoice settings. We're going to click on payment services. Again, you'll find the two minute explainer video at the top of the screen. If this is your first time, I'd strongly encourage you to have a look at that. Now look, we're just gonna go through the most common way of setting these up, which is just setting up the debit and credit cards, which are powered by Stripe. So as you can see, simple payment terms, it's clear to understand exactly what um, customers are going to be paying and also what you're going to be paying in merchant fees. Um, if you've already got an existing Stripe account, you can click on, I have a Stripe account. Or if you haven't set up a Stripe account for your business before, clicking on the sign up for Stripe will take you through a simple little step guide to create your brand new Stripe account. So you can see that we've now connected Stripe to our Xero account through just following a couple of minutes of instructions in order to create a new Stripe account. Now that we've got the Stripe service set up there, this is where we need to go in and set up the service details. We're gonna accept payment by Visa, MasterCard and American Express on our invoices. When the money comes in, we need to select which bank account that the funds will get, are typically going to be deposited in. Now you'll see we've connected a Stripe account to our Xero file. Now we just need to set up the service details. And what I mean by that, in order to make the reconciliation happen automatically for us, we need to select what bank account payments received through Stripe get paid into. In this case, our business bank account is just called the business account. And what we wanna do is automate the fees. The whole benefit of Xero is being able to automate and synchronize as much information as possible. So any fees, merchant fees by Stripe, we're gonna to code to bank fees. A lot of customers are concerned about having to pay merchant fees when they take credit card. And if you have this concern, this makes it easy to charge your customers a processing fee. Xero recommends a nominal amount of 1.75% to charge onto the customer. And this is where we then choose, well, where is that additional charge that gets added to the invoice for the customer to pay the merchant fee get coded to? For this example, we're gonna code it to a revenue account called Other Revenue. Once we're happy with the settings, we'll click Save. Now that we're happy with the Stripe settings, we need to apply this Stripe account to an invoice theme. In this demo file, we've just got one type of invoice template. We've got the standard invoice template. We're gonna add the Stripe account to our standard invoice template inside Xero. Now 